what... not much going on here. This is generally when me and the co-caster, okay, we do have a gank though coming on in. They're trying to get on top of aiming. There is going to be the stun, but there's not really anything to happen as the flash from Tucson comes in. And he's just going to give away first blood. He's trying to feed aiming, of course, but that was extremely... Now we're talking like 95-5. Maybe. Maybe it's even worse. As even Kerry is trying to pull off the insanely risky plays. And really just trying to soften up aiming for the follow-up gank that's coming down here. The red smite already going to go down, and that is about the easiest kill you've ever seen. Piosik just going to stand still for a little bit. Olaf, he's going to cry. He's going to wipe his eyes with his axes, where he's going to do absolutely nothing except pick up all of this farm. Actually going to be able to scale up quite nicely. Uh, aiming's dead. I don't really... I think they should have backed off a bit sooner than this. They they didn't even... And now this is what I was talking about, about committing to the top lane. This is one way you can try to zone the Jace away, maybe get a kill, and then get the turret. But Koshik right here, right on time. Ragnarok is going to come out just in case that uh, Chovy's nearby. But here's Chovy. We can see a pretty massive play, although he doesn't actually have his ultimate, remember. So actually scratch that. We're not going to have a massive play. We're not going to have anything. Just gonna have TP coming back in as okay, Carrier. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what he's doing there. He's gonna lock down the turret at least, but Jace is still gonna die. Um, I, I feel like Carrier is really feeling it now. He's, uh, he's really feeling it. That was that was like the Bard play to end all Bard plays. See that a heal is gonna be thrown out. Now Chovy is thinking about taking this one as he takes a torch. But now you're you're able to get your champions out there on the map sooner. Look at Chovy's positioning. He's not able to get on the map at all. Because of that, he can't help. Doran is okay. Nice little play from him, but the shield is gonna keep him alive for quite a while here in the fight of the casting. And so We'll see. I'll be solo casting for the meantime. Kyoshik is going to get hooked, but he does not have subjugate. And now, again, they're very deep in here. The Olaf, not going to be from personal experience, I feel like, going for the... Oh, he's actually going to catch him here. This might be a dead blitz as the flash on in. He's trying to make the most of it and trying to feed aiming. As the ultimate's going to come in, he finally gets a kill. But Chovy is going to put an end to that madness. As now flashing away is Chovy. The Olaf getting a lot of value here. Yoshik coming on in, Karia running away up on the top side as finally the Olaf dies and the stun comes in from Bard as Kuro is also going to go down. But now Sowan in the midst of so many weak members of DRX. By the way, he's in um, LCK right now, he's like 9 and 21, or 9 out of 21 games, I, I think it is. But Karia knows how to make him work, and this is how you make the Brad Dream work, guys. This is how you do it. Go for aggressive, proactive plays, especially when you're ahead. And he's already got 10 assists in this game. I mean, Karia is just everywhere. Nobody can move against him. They're all stunned. Because they don't have much vision at all. As I'm trying to listen in. Nobody actually says anything. I have exhaust. Get out, get out. RDRX, I think we got to look towards Sohan here. Chovy, though, has to be careful. He can't just dive in. There's a lot of damage between the two of them. Meanwhile, in the jungle, we got a three on three going. That's going to be a missed Azir ultimate as Tucson going to have to flash away. We're zooming in over here on the left. Aiming has to flash over the wall. 
He's not going to get a lot of value as so on. Finally able to turn that one around down to the bottom side. They should win that 2v2 as Toby is desperate. And maybe they will not as no, the Q is going to come in. And finally, Soan will be able to pick up that double kill. Unfortunately for him, though, the rest of his team lost the fight in their own jungle. As we'll have to take another look at that one and see exactly how that did happen. I know that Karyo was part of it, so perhaps. And again, KT are kind of reduced to smoke and mirrors. They don't even have the LeBlanc this time around. But they do have an ability to catch Doran, who's going to flash away. He's quite fast, but he's still going to be going down here. It's okay, Tempered Fate going to come in. Karia trying to buy some time. Going to throw the heal in, but down he will go. But here's Death, and he's 8-1-2. and two. Can they burst him down? They can, as actually the 80 carries will be traded. That is a massive amount of gold in the pockets of aiming now. Can we not PvP? As uh, now DRX are trying to force this 3v4. Subjugate is in and Toby is going to get the massive engage, but the exhaust takes away so much of his value. And what? Allow Toby to continue pushing. That's not the way it went. So we're going to break it down from the beginning. Doran here. If it was any other support, probably, he probably would have gotten away. Uh, well, aiming died. We're going to have okay. to wait and see. Let's take a look at the replay here. Is it Karia again? Oh, it's Karia again. I should have known. Why did I even think it was anyone else? He actually missed the binding. <laughs> I feel like I cast her. And uh, DRX here, they don't they don't have Baron or anything. They're just straight up pushing. As, uh, okay, really nice. Zonya's there to deny the hook. The flash used by the Blitzcrank, but the zone, or rather the root, is going to come in. As, uh, why did Pushing just take that one? He's taking an immense amount of damage. He has to throw out the sub to game, but the stun is going to come in. Thankfully, he's trundle as that is a huge hook! Finally, we see the wild card come in from... Anyway, we're going to take a look here. Lines it up. Says, no, 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 we can't do shop barrage up time, if you will. Karia uh, with the flash after the exhaust. Can they actually follow up on this? Look at that shield! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a shield. But the slow chip damage, the sustained damage out of this unbelievably fed Ezreal. And the they're going to have such a hard time getting into this. Just look at that. It's not even hitting. Okay, the shields go up and now they're down. And I think they're just going to go. Okay, here we go. The burst onto that one. They get the Baron. Trendle will have to flash away, but that's going to be a huge temper fate once again onto three members. He lands the stun and there is the poke damage coming in. The immediate exhaust goes down, but it doesn't matter. Keria is just lining him up and knocking him down like bowling pins. This bard is insane. As there you have it, TPs are gonna come in. We do have about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. They're, they're gonna look to take some of these inhibitors anyway. We'll see if they actually try to go for the end here. As we did have a lot of action. Which certainly helped me out in terms of uh, casting the solo cast. As play-by-play uh, -play makes it much easier. As, uh, yeah, they're just going to go for the win here. We'll see if they can pick it up. They throw down a tempered fate. They say, well, you can't get in here. And it doesn't really matter about those. No hooks are going to go down, and that's going to be it. GG. I'm not sure what you guys think, but in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I mean, they're the best team right now. It's either them or Damwon. I suppose Gen G are up there in the running at the at the same time. Carry out the obvious MVP, by the way. You're not, you're not going to look good. It's not going to look good. So if you're DRX, you're happy you get the win. You get the revenge over KT. But there's still work to be done. There's still a lot of work to be done. So Pioshik is going to, I don't even know what this, I, I guess that's Gragas. <laughs> Pick up exhaust. Let's, let's see what they have to say. It's really good. It's really good. From the, from the front. 
from nice Aphelios. Oh, how did I get there? Da kann, da kann. Said you all, you all played well. Let's go top. Uh, I'm coming in. 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 I'm Oh,